So someone from my clan, Lee, offered to let me hop on his account because he summoned Odin Father relatively early. His A1 attacks one enemy and then places a Berserk debuff, which makes it so that the person who has this debuff hits harder, but also receives more damage at the same time, like a double-edged sword. His A2 removes all buffs from all enemies, then places decreased defense and stun, and this is on a three turn cooldown. And then his A3 is an EMHP move, and it's going to attack, but before attacking, he's, he's gonna steal all the buffs. And the damage inflicted is going to be based on the respective champion type that you're um, going up against. So if you're attack, then you're, the damage you're gonna receive is based on your attack, defense, defense, HP support or bosses will go off of your max HP. This is also going to ignore 100% of the target's defense. And if this does kill somebody, somebody on your team is going to be revived with half life, half turn meter. This one's not going to be fully booked. A1's not going to be fully booked. We're just short on books and we're not stressing over it because uh, I'm gonna ask him again later on if uh, I can hop on his account when he's a little bit more optimized. His passive, Odin's Wisdom, every nine turns, and this operates much like Sun Wukong's uh, revive every three turns. This is whether or not the turn is happening on your side or someone else's side. Every nine turns, in Odin's case, he's going to place a block damage on himself and then apply a buff spread, taking all the buffs that he has and then placing them on all allies. So essentially, uh, at the very least, your entire team's getting block damage, which can be very annoying. I'm pretty sure you guys, if you've been doing the event Odin's, um, Odin's event dungeon, that you will know how annoying he can, he can be. And then of course, he's got the speed for void allies in arena by 40%. Now, I, think he hits really hard because when I go up against Odin on stage 30, he hits me pretty damn hard. I thought I would go ahead and try to build him as a nuker as well as provide some support because in my initial thinking, and again, I haven't tested him out myself yet. This is the first look that I'm going to have on him. So I could be wrong, but these are the masteries. Don't blindly copy masteries, you know, think for yourself, but this is my train of thought right now. And uh, we could always redo this later, but I, I want to see how hard he's going to smack. But before we see how hard he's going to smack, I figured why not try to see how how uh, he operates when he's just going really fast. Now, for this specific build that I have here, this just focuses on speed and some relative accuracy. Here are the pieces of gear. I wanted to see how he does as more of a support type champion where he just goes really fast, like tries to cycle through his passives and his moves, and here are the total stats here. He's going at 311 speed, 446 accuracy. Again, not the best stats, all right? But this is also relative because I'm going to have people telling me like, oh, I can't reach those stats. But then I'm going to have other people telling me, oh, you know, these stats are shit. Look, guys, first look, first build. I've never touched Odin before, and I feel like I'm about to touch him right now. No ditty. But let's go ahead and uh, try him out. I don't think he is going to perform too well in, at least with this build, right? I don't see him performing at the higher echelons of Arena, and that's okay, because we're just, this is just testing out. I, I know he's already going to be a good PvE champion, uh, so we're going to try him out there, but I want to see him in the context of PvP. Um, so let's, let's build him out like this first. And then I have another build set up in which I am going to put him in Merc gear, Merciless gear. We're going to borrow gear from Trenda. I'll put it back later on. But Merc gear allows us to ignore 35% of the uh, defense of a champion. Now, his A3 already ignores 100%, but maybe his A2 attacks all enemies, which kind of confuses me. I don't really remember, but we're going to try this out. It's a buff strip and then places these, but I don't know if it hits. I don't remember if it hits, but we're going to find that out. So we're going to see if he can hit really hard and smack. And if this helps here, I mean, this already ignores 100%. So now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this doesn't even really matter. Maybe the A1 will benefit. And if this hits, it'll benefit as well. But let's go ahead and, and see it because, you know, thinking about it isn't going to do much. All right, let's take it off auto here. So Odin receives the buff from Necrit. We're going to speed up. We're going to see, let's wait. All right, all right. Let's check his A2 first. Decrease defense and stun. Okay. Now it's interesting because it said resisted here, but 
it still popped off. I don't know what that was in reference to. This got resisted here too, but everything was still um, placed. So we're placing block skills. Let's attack Armands. All right, let's do is A3 against... Well, let's make sure Armands doesn't take a move here. Boom. Okay. So again, he's not built for damage, but you see that the block buffs went up, or the block damage buff went up, and then all of the buffs that Odin had got spread out so let's put a sleep on you let's see what you do we got the berserk on again we're not built for damage right now i'm just trying to see how he does in straight support and again block damage goes up and let's go ahead and throw this on auto cooldown's getting set that a2 is just nasty keeping everybody and then, of course, we get the block damage again. Uh, let's get rid of Elva here. Not bad. 36k. It wasn't a crit hit. It still hit pretty hard. Remove buffs, but we have the block buffs on, so Odin's thing isn't going to pop off here. And again, every nine turns, he receives the block damage buff. So, like, right now. This could make it very annoying, I think. Now we're in silver uh, live arena here. It doesn't seem like Lee actually performs or does live arena, and that's totally fine because I'm the same exact way. So let's start off um, easy. Let's let's keep it nice and kind. We're going to um, throw in our mythical champions here because this is going to be super fun. And the, the cool thing about mythicals, I think, if you're going to pair him with Odin, is that mythicals can transform, and that also counts as a turn. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see if this guy decides to just take up uh, the entire turn meter or not, but let's hope he doesn't. He's probably wondering, like, what the fuck? What is this? How are you in silver? Why am I going up against you in silver? Oh, he's got the Narcissus and Korra combo going on. That's cool. Well, let's see how he does here. I hope he doesn't ban Odin. I just hope not. Maybe he'll he'll bait take one of these guys, and, and we'll see. All right, so we should get rid of Geralt. His, actually, I'm not really afraid of Geralt. Maybe I should be, I don't know. Who do I ban? Let's ban, I really don't like her. Like, Nar uh, Narcissus is kinda okay to deal with, I think, but uh, this only works, his speed aura only works in, for voids. So let's take, um, I don't know, uh, let's take this for defense? I don't know, HP, we'll take HP. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't know how these mythicals work. Keep in mind, uh, I have a skill issue when it comes to PvP, so do not take my performance as the benchmark of what you should do. I'd say that this is a, a better case of what not to do. Okay, so now he's got all these buffs up, but Odin is going fast enough to go before anybody else goes. So let's remove all of their buffs and then stun them. And that's completely nasty. I don't know what this champion does, but let's just see what his A2 does. All right, I guess. Uh, I don't know what this does, what he does either. But I think we can transform here. And decrease res and stun. Oh, this seems cool. Placing a stun on everybody. All right, Toshiro. Attacks four times at randoms or attacks all enemies. Let's see this. Wow, that is massive. And let's see what his A... Oh, this is Odin's A... Oh, come on, bro. I'm trying to do a video here. Because I'm not trying to get sheep today. I do not want to be sheep. I'm tired of... Oh, you fuck you, guy. All right, let's see here. So, of course, Hegemon's going to go first. And nothing happens except for the Provoke. A A2. Okay. Okay. Understandable. Oh, boy. Maybe I should have brought a... Wow. A Reviver. I should have brought a Reviver with me. Damn, that provoke really made it so that I couldn't do anything. Alright, 
what does this guy do? Let's see. Remove all debuffs, heals, and then revive all dead al- Oh, this is a reviver. He is a reviver. Okay, now we got the block buffs up. And it was nice because he spread it, but then Wukong can take it. So that's that's also kind of a bad thing. But let me see what we can do here. We can stun and remove buffs, except for against Mithrala. However, maybe we can uh, attack? Transform here? And then what does this do? Attacks all enemy, decrease speed, and then heals all allies. Let's attack. Whoa. That, that just looked cool. All right, let's remove all buffs or debuffs. Put this on. Looking for, dude, look at this guy. He looks cool as crap. All right, whose turn is it? Oh, Frolny. Okay, what does Frolny do? Steals buffs, attacks. Let's transform and see what this does. Ally protect, unkillable. Attacks one enemy, heals. Does it heal everybody? Oh, balances HP. Let's get rid of let's balance HP here. Look at that. And let's let's attack Lady Kimmy here with Odin's move. We stole those buffs, killed her, 20k damage, not built for attack. He's thinking. I don't blame him, because I'm thinking. Never use these champions, but look at this freaking squad, bro. Look at this squad. This is insane. Bro, I'm trying to do a video. Quit leaving. Alright, so yeah. Arbiter goes first. Now, I think the way we want to do this anytime you use Odin is to do this. And it doesn't look like it's doing any damage. So maybe don't put him in a Merc set. Let's push back Ostrid. And let's go ahead and hit Taurus, put the Berserk on him. And then that way he can receive more damage. Let Georgia do his thing. With decreased defense? Is this Georgia not built? What was that? That was kind of weird. But now we have block buffs up, and that's pretty cool. Alright. Okay, but but block buff block damage is up. I wonder if it's gonna if we'll be okay. Who knows? Does he have relentless on? He's taking a third turn. He did. Yeah, so that didn't um, pan out too well. I mean, I understand it was a... Had to try, right? And of course, Sun Wukong doing Sun Wukong things, bro. Oh, no! I mean, honestly, it's a skill issue on my end. That was a skill issue on my end. I, uh, I mean, shit. You know, okay, Necrit wasn't built. Or Necrit wasn't fully built. And... And Georgian wasn't built either. Okay, so that, that makes sense. I should have probably checked. Okay, and now we've built him out in a Merc set. And we're getting boost to attack, crit damage, speed, a 30% chance to um, decrease a random skill cooldown by one turn. So kind of like a pseudo reflex type set whenever he's dealing damage. And then a 15% attack to boost and then 35% ignore defense. It would be nice if we could get all these extra things with a nine piece set, but it's not happening with the current gear and my requirements that I've asked of the game. Now, this is what we have to work with, right? In Merc, in Merc gear, we can get uh, 4,700 attack, 211 speed, kind of slow, 100% crit rate, 260 crit damage. That's okay. Ideally, I want 5,000 attack. Ideally, I want at least 220 uh, speed. And at D, uh, ideally, ideally, I want 5k attack, 220 speed, and 300% crit damage minimum. But this is totally fine for what we're about to try and do. So let's go ahead and let me show you the pieces of gear that I have. Again, mercenary gear, which is a lot harder to come by just because it's locked behind Centranos, which, you know, it's not exactly the easiest thing out there. But let's go ahead, dive in. We still got some tokens left. Let's jump into Arena and see how he performs. So what I'm realizing here is Sun Wukong is actually a great counter to Odin. And I don't know why it didn't really click with me because on my farming team for stage 30 of the Odin's dungeon, Sun Wukong is basically like necessary. So yeah, 
And of course, we're going to get hit with this. What does he do? Revive. Oh, removes all debuffs, then heals. This is a pretty nice skill to have. A debuff cleanse. All right, let's see what this does. Attacks four times at random. All right, let's, let's see it. Okay, just a straight shot pointing. Didn't kill anybody, but there was no increased attack, no cre decreased defense, so, you know. Let's see if this... Sm oh, yeah, you know, he smacks. Luckily, he revives. There you go. Okay, now let's revive. That's pretty nice. That's a nice skill to have. Now we get the block damage buffs up. What are your thoughts? Do you think it takes too long for the block damage to go up, or do you think it's just okay? Let's see what his second form does. And transform. Looking sicky sick. Oh, attacks all enemies, then grants an extra turn. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Attacks all enemy enemies. Places increased attack. Attacks one enemy. Let's see what this does. Oh, that's a pretty huge hit. Oh, wait, did he get an extra turn? Oh, grants an extra turn if it kills an enemy. Alright, well, that wasn't really an Odin showcase. He didn't do anything. Of course, Hegemon's gonna go first. Good counter. Good counter. Then you go. Then you transform. Probably A2 stun. That's what I would do. Yeah, okay, okay. Sheep. Looking too good because now she's probably gonna remove buffs. Can we boost turn meter? Can Toshiro please get a turn in? Please get a turn in. Swipe. And of course, Odin didn't really get to make a move here. He's going too slow for PvP purposes. It just it's just not working out the way that I that I want to. So maybe change him out of Mercury. I guess Savage does less, but at least he would get to take a turn if he was going faster. Talk about just whale, whaling out, whale wars. Yep. Come on, Odin. Where's your block damage up? Put your block damage up. Damn it. Which one grants an extra turn? This one? Oh, what? They all counterattacked? Shit, son. And we'll see what we can uh, muster up here. Now, this does a block buff thing. And here, I think his second form, I haven't really tested out yet. Decrease res and stun. This blocks active skills. Let's try this here. Okay, so it's, it doesn't buff strip or anything but i think we can try to buff strip here there you go we got the buff strip up here and okay so he's back let's hit this try to decrease that and we want to hit him but if we hit if we hit marishka or as so i was trying to say we want to hit marishka but if we hit marishka then rotos or not rotos but um actually we have our block damage up i don't know why i was worried about it let's protect you let's hit the uh block active skills and removal of debuffs okay and let's see how much damage we do to necrit here 2800 okay so yeah i'm not really seeing odin as a damage dealer i mean it's good to i guess test it to see it just because i i for i for some reason thought he was a really hard hitter but i'm seeing him now Eh, not so much. So I'm going to put him back in a different build. One in which he goes a lot faster, takes as many turns as possible. And I'm thinking Relentless is probably going to be a really nice build for him. So we're going to try him out in Relentless next. Let's hit the A1. Oh, it's an AoE. That A1 is an AoE. That's pretty nice. All right, let's do this. Okay, we don't get the Berserk up on him. That's totally fine. This is a ooh, Transform. And then here we can place the perfect veil. Oh, this is a heal. Uh, let's just hit 
Oh, the A1. How come um, they're not countering? I thought Rodos always counters whenever somebody hits Marishka. It's kind of weird, no? Our, our uh, defense is strong here. Oh, wow. We got, we got sheep. Damn it. Let's protect the sheep. All right. We got 57 on that hit there. But now we're getting stunned. And we get sheeped again. Perfect. That's two back-to-back -back sheeps. Yeah, we lost that one. All right, so these are the new masteries for him. We're going down the support tree, taking extra res, taking some damage mitigation from crit hits, taking some extra heals and shields, taking a chance to remove a random debuff, some damage mitigation there, some counterattack there, increase to ally res since Odin does place and spread buffs. We want to, um, you know, I, f I feel like that would be pretty useful. And then increase accuracy here, 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 as well as anytime a debuff is removed, then he has a chance to boost his turn meter, try to get him to go fast. And then we have Lore of Steel to get some extra stat boost. We're going for Spirit Haste. In the event that somebody does die, Odin can get a chance to revive that person a lot faster. We're going to take Master Hexer, which will not increase the duration of stuns but it will increase the durations of i believe berserk on the a1 and also the decreased defense so that's always nice and then we're taking eagle eye for extra accuracy all right here are the specific pieces of gear for anybody who's interested focusing mainly on speed putting him in a relentless set trying to make him take as many turns as possible and then of course we have the accuracy on the banner accuracy on the chest speed on speed here are the total stats 44k HP, 3100 defense, 301 speed, 550 um, accuracy. I think he needs a lot more. Um, if you can swing it, I think maybe more survivability would benefit him. So more HP, more defense, because he does seem to feel a little bit squishy. Um, low base HP, I think. And um, yeah, more more uh, accuracy would be helpful in uh, the higher levels of arena. But let's go ahead and test them out. All right, because Sun Wukong does seem to really mess with Odin, I'm going to ban Sun Wukong this time around, and we're going to take uh, Arbiter as a lead because uh, Odin's uh, ability, ability, I mean, la la la. What am I trying to say? Odin's ability, aura, only works on himself, which actually, now that I think about it, I should have just picked him because even if it does only work on himself, it's still all good. Doesn't this guy hit now? Oh, but we got block buffs up, so... Oh, buddy! Of course. Got arrowed. Odin got arrowed. Odin got arrowed. Um, let's see. Does, it, does anything here remove debuffs? Let me see. Uh, let's just do this one. Oh, that was so cool. And let's boost our speed. We got sheeped over there. That's nice when it's not happening to you. Block buffs back up. Saw the spread too. And let's place the stuns on everybody. It's always nice to see. And he took his extra turn. He took his extra turn so okay now we're just leaving all right all right we're gonna go ahead and try to fight these guys here a little bit more control a little bit less time taken because it's not and we're getting um our mons okay yeah we, we just got our mons okay well let's go ahead and take um let's try again we'll take arbiter in with us this time Although she's supposed to be in the lead, I think. And we just got our mons again. All right, let's pick a different team. Here, uh, let's put you here. Who's got the higher blessing? There you go. We'll do that. Okay, so Sifi goes first. Increase attack. We're going to place the stuns and decrease defense weaken. And then we're going to have our nuker do his thing. Let's get rid of RB over here. 90k, that's freaking insane. 
Dude, this, this giant lizard is crazy. UDK over here. Let's boost. Can we remove the stone skin? We got resisted on this guy. Let's hit this over here. Whoa, he just freaking obliterated Pytheon. That's crazy. Uh, let's just hit Odin, or not Odin, uh, UDK. We're gonna try Odin against Odin, and we'll see how he does. This is just stage 20. Um, I'm not really trying to watch him through the lens of uh, the harder stages, but yeah. Uh, of course, with a bunch of mythicals, this seems a lot easier to do. And Odin just hit us with that move, and both Odins got their uh, got their buffs up. Look at that. It's funny watching both of their block damage buffs go up at the same time. Remove it, and yeah. Even though he brings things that are new, he's not bringing anything too different or that much better than what, for an example, Lee already has on his account, which is all of this. And me seeing him, I'm thinking about if I had Odin on my account, how would that be? And I'm not really convinced that he would make a big difference to my account other than being cool. Uh, what do you guys think? Was I using him wrong? Did I not use him in the right context? Was I using him in, in, in the wrong? team synergies i mean i've tried them out in, in different uh teams here in live arena as well as classic arena it was hard not to use the mythicals clan boss would be kind of cool to see but for most of us who are in the end game or i guess the krakens who are willing and more than capable of going for odin i don't think that they're going to be bothered with doing regular clan boss hydra would be pretty cool but i mean look at this lee is already doing 250 one key on nightmare which is pretty pretty big i think that was he just ended it earlier. Oh, you know what it is? We're purposely dropping, and I, I made a mistake because I was watching a movie with my wife and completely forgot we were supposed to purposely lose and score really low, so. But I, I'd be interested to see how he performs in, in Hydra. But other than that, like, did I, did I miss an area of the game where maybe he would have done pretty well? I mean, let's think about it. You, you bring him into Ice School, I'm sure the, the uh, block damage helps out as well as pretty much anywhere else. The decreased defense is pretty cool. The stun doesn't really work all around. Uh, dungeons, I don't know. Uh, but you guys tell me what you guys think. Hey, he's bouncing off my booty cheeks. I love the way he rides.